Welcome to using measurement computing devices with MATLAB. Today I will be using the USB 1608GX-2AO to output a complex waveform. Let's begin. Start a new script file to hold the commands. First, I'm going to create a variable to represent the size or length of the waveform. Now use count to calculate the angle per point or step. Now create an array of steps. In order to generate a waveform, I need to create an array of discrete data points that re represents a simple function of time. Here I have an array that has three sine waves added together. Now I need to get the analog output object, which contains the output settings. The string MCC is the driver identifier and zero is the board number assigned by the InstaCal program. Now I need to add a channel to the output. Where zero is the output channel number. Next, set the update rate to 4000 Hz and set the buffer to repeat 50 times in a row. Next, for output verification, use a wire connected from the analog output to the analog input. Now add an analog input and a channel object. I will use the default settings since the analog input starts immediately and samples for one second at 1000 Hz. This means my data will have four cycles of the waveform. Before sending the data to the analog output, it must be reformatted to a single column, so use the transpose function and send the data to the buffer. The start command will start the analog output, and to read back the signal, I will start the analog input and get the data and plot the data. Now save the script. Now let's test the script. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Visit our website for more information about data acquisition devices and the software that controls them. For a full copy of this script, please refer to this transcript listing for this video.